to Mark Wins. I am in Aonang, which is the very touristy area of Krabi in Thailand, in the south of Thailand. And I'm sitting down for a meal at a restaurant. It's actually called Cheap Cheap Thai Food Restaurant. And it is kind of a little bit inland from the beach, uh, but very close to Aonang. Ying, my wife, is actually from Krabi. Uh, and her sister, is friends with the daughter of the owner of this restaurant. So that is how we know it. And they do have uh, some touristy dishes, but they also have Southern Thai food on their menu, which you can come to try if you are interested in, in tasting some uh, local, more local Southern Thai dishes. Oh, oh, oh. My God. The mother. May, who owns the restaurant, uh, has chosen a few dishes for us, so I'm definitely not going to complain with May. I'm first drinking a coconut, uh, which is always a good and refreshing beverage. Yeah. What I love about coconut water is that it's not too sweet, uh, but it's so it's so refreshing. This dish is baton kamin, which is fish fried with turmeric and garlic and they are using blasai, which is a little fish that's famous in famous to eat in Krabi. And so, yeah, it is deep fried. This is one of my favorite ways to eat a fried fish. Uh, so much flavor in that, that garlic and turmeric. And then you can, these, these are little fish, so you can actually eat the entire thing. There's no waste. And I might take a, a little bit of extra turmeric for my Sai sauce menu for my first bite. Oh man, my my spoon is full. I don't even have any rice on it. Mm. Mm. Those are extremely freshly fried, so it's hot and crispy, and then it's a little bit salty but I can really taste that garlic and turmeric. And it has almost like a, almost like a strong, a strong carrot flavor. But yeah, not exactly. Um, those fish are extremely crispy though. They're serving it with a sauce as well, which I'm not sure exactly what it is. That sauce is nice and sour and a little bit spicy. This dish is called Geng Som Gung Cha Om Kai. And Geng Som is the very, uh, the very popular and omnipresent southern style of soup, uh, which is uh, sour and a little bit spicy. And then this is with shrimp. Let me just take off his shell so I can one bite it. And Cha Om is, I think it, in English it's called climbing waddle. Waddle, climbing waddle. Oh, that looks, that is just a beautiful color though. Mm. The soup is sour and it's a little, it's not too spicy. And then that shrimp is extremely meaty. That is insanely good. Just that, that omelet literally is like a sponge that just soaks up all of that sour, spicy, turmeric-filled broth. Mm. Well, that's, that's wonderful. Okay, and this one is soup nua, which is beef soup. There are some nice little cherry tomatoes in there, and then it's topped with crispy shallots, some smoked uh, fried chilies, and I am gonna try to find a Oh, these must be some, are these pieces of maybe lungs? Anyways, I'm gonna eat that along with some of the soup. Mm, that's a little bit, a little bit sour, a little bit spicy, and a little bit sweet kind of at the ending bite. I think those are lungs. They're a little bit chewy. Um, mm. And then that tomato, just added, that, that's a nice cherry tart tomato. Um, 
just which just exploded in my mouth right now. And then finally we got a Kai Jiao, which is just a Thai omelet, just to just to polish things off, which it never hurts to have a Kai Jiao. I think I'm just gonna add some of the Geng Som to it. Oh yes. Mm. Oh. A Thai style omelet just never fails. It is the ultimate super comfort food. So this restaurant is right in Aonang. And despite, they, they do sell quite a few kind of touristy dishes. But what I like is that they also have uh, Southern Thai dishes on their menu. So if you're interested in trying some local Southern dishes uh, in the touristy area, you can still try them here. These things are just incredibly good and you can just pick them up like a french fry, like an insanely good french fry. Dip it into the sauce. Mm. That is insanely crispy and so garlicky and turmeric-y.